Hi, this is Leah, and this is week three of our interactive advanced concept presentation. The concept for this week is baking soda and vinegar to create a rocket-like effect. So the key concepts for this week are, um, for this presentation, are basically uh, geared around acids and bases and what an acid-base reaction looks like. So an acid is a proton donor or electron acceptor, and a base is a proton acceptor or electron donor. And this just depends on by which definition you are talking about. So if this is the Lewis acid or base or a Bronsted acid or base. So if it's a Lewis, then it's talking in terms of the electrons. So a Lewis acid would be an electron acceptor, while a Lewis base would be an electron donor. And that means that the Bronsted would then be in terms of protons, which is the positively charged hydrogen. Um, and that would be a Bronsted acid would be a proton donor, or a Bronsted base would be a proton acceptor. And then over here is just a diagram of uh, what a basic general acid-base reaction would look like. So this is giving it in terms of Lewis acids and bases. So the Lewis base is the electron donor to the Lewis acid, which accepts that accepts the electrons, and then it gives you um, your products. So for this week's experiment, we need a couple things. We need a plastic bottle, vinegar, uh, baking soda, paper towels, and then some type of pens or pencils to create a stand for your plastic bottle, which will eventually turn into the rocket. So the methods are Number one, create a stand for the plastic bottle. I just did this by turning the plastic bottle upside down and taping pencils around the outside to create an elevated stand. Two is placing baking soda in a paper towel and wrapping it. Three, you want to create a cork with paper towels to put into the plastic bottle. Um, then we'll pour the vinegar into the bottle, place the paper towel containing the baking soda into the bottle, place the cork on the bottle and shake it. And then we will see what happens. So this was just me um, performing the experiment. So one, I put the baking powder or the baking soda inside of the paper towel. I wrapped it very tightly, I tried to secure the ends. This is the cork that I created for my plastic bottle. And then this was the vinegar being placed into the plastic bottle. So the vinegar was the first thing to go in. In this video, we'll show uh, once the vinegar is in, I'm placing the paper towel containing the baking soda into the bottle and then corking it, shaking it to see what happens. So the baking soda and the paper towel is in, the cork is in, I shake it. And then, unfortunately, it did not work out too well. So we'll watch that one more time. All the ingredients are in. It's corked close. And then we wait. So, unfortunately, with mine, we did not see that um, huge rocket-like um, reaction. Um, and we'll go over some possible sources of error. So... What is supposed to happen here? Why are we supposed to see this reaction? So we have an acid and a base reacting. So we have vinegar, which is basically just water and acetic acid. This plays the role of the acid reactant in the equation. We have baking soda, which is sodium bicarbonate, and this acts as the base. So when these two combine together, they form what is known as carbonic acid, which carbonic acid then immediately starts to break down into carbon dioxide which we know carbon dioxide, um, it creates these little gas bubbles, which if it would have went correctly, the plastic bottle would have built up with this CO2 since we had a cork in the bottle. And then when the bottle was shaken, this caused the cork to fly out and that pressure caused the plastic bottle to shoot up in the air like a rocket. Now mine, as we saw, unfortunately did not do this. So possible sources of error could be that I used malt vinegar instead of white. Um, 
it didn't say what type of vinegar, so I could have used white, malt, apple cider vinegar, um, red wine vinegar, maybe one of these would have been more sufficient, maybe it would have had more acid in it, uh, maybe my cork wasn't tight enough. When I turned the bottle over, you could see that there was some leakage, um, so that could have played a big role. And then maybe I didn't put enough of one of the two reactants, so maybe the ratio of the vinegar to the baking soda was not correct. Alright, thank you for listening.